Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I will be talking about top 10 Salesforce admin topics, which you should definitely know if you are going for any Salesforce related job interview, be it for a development role or for admin QA or business analyst role. Salesforce admin is very crucial. If you are going for a developer interview, then you might just get two or three admin related questions. But then the significance of those questions is extremely high. So admin related topics are must to know things because if you fail to answer admin related things, that tells that your fundamentals are weak in Salesforce. Okay. So with that, let's start all those topics. They are not in any particular order, but all these topics are very, very, very important. And I will specifically mention which are very important from the developer point of view as well. Starting with the first topic is record sharing and security. In any Salesforce job related interview, record sharing and security topic is extremely important. Like you will definitely see at least one question from this topic because this checks how you know about the Salesforce security model how security is set up in Salesforce and how aware you are about it. Questions can be like a user is able to see a user B's record, but user B is not able to see user A's record. What could be the reason? Question could be mixture of profile permission set and uh, record level security like OWD sharing rule, manual sharing and role hierarchy. Questions could be like if let's say uh, from profile you do not have the edit permission, but via the OWD you have given a read edit permission. So will the user be able to edit those records or not? We have done deep dive into record sharing and security questions. I'm going to put a couple of links in the comment section so that you can go through in detail about all those questions. But make sure if there is one topic which is extremely, extremely important from Salesforce admin, then that is record sharing and security. So make sure that you thoroughly go through each and every option available in this topic in order to be able to perform well in your interview. Okay, second topic is custom settings and custom metadata. Even from the developer's point of view, this topic is a link between the Salesforce development and the administrator part. Administrator as well as developer use custom settings and metadata a lot. So you will definitely get questions on this. The easier side of questions are like difference between custom settings and custom metadata. What are the different types of custom setting difference between list settings and hierarchical custom settings, but more advanced questions could be like how you are using custom settings, how you're using custom metadata, how will you get custom metadata in your uh, Apex code? What are the advantages of using custom metadata? Explain the project related scenarios where you have used custom metadata. So custom settings and custom metadata are extremely important, not just know the theory of it, but try to implement them as well. Because if you're going for a developer interview, they can ask you about how will you get it in your code, then you'll have to know how are you going to get it without writing a software query. Okay, so this is very important. Number third is record type layouts and dynamic form. Okay, they are again about the visibility, but why do we use record type? Why do we use page layout? And then with the introduction of dynamic forms, this topic has become extremely important. They can ask you about cross comparison question like why now we have dynamic form, what will be the need of various record types or various page layout when we can control everything via record page. So you should know such kind of questions and traditional questions are still relevant. Like why do we use record types? How do we control different layout assignment via the record types? Record types also controls the uh, pick list value. So how do we control that based on the record type? Those kind of questions are still relevant. So make sure you know them as well. After that, very important topic is user management. There are a lot of questions related to user management, like license type questions and profiles and permission related questions, different fields uh, you get in the user management. There could be questions related to service user checkbox, marketing user checkbox. Why do we have different username? Can we have uh, multiple users with the same username kind of questions, questions related to forget password, questions related to login as a 
uh, as a particular specific users questions related to advanced user setting can be there so those are also very much uh, important questions make sure you know the user management in detail but the most important question comes about the license type what are the different types of licenses available in salesforce and how do you decide why we can create a user without a without a role but cannot create without a profile what is the difference between freeze versus deactivating the user so try to know those answers as well after that there is the fifth topic is scoping rules and duplicate rules because they are new in salesforce scoping rules and duplicate rules are very important topics because they are relatively new even if you don't know sometimes it is okay but then if you are able to answer the questions related to scoping rules that will make a very good impression especially look into the limitations they have because they are relatively new so there are a couple of limitations try to get to know the limitations as well along with the uh, features of those okay then very important topic is relationships relationships related questions are very important especially if you are going for an admin interview they may ask couple of questions related to the type of relationships we have couple of questions from junction object what will happen if we delete the parent what will happen to the junction record what will happen if we delete the secondary parent what will happen to the primary parent those kind of questions what is the self lookup there could be questions related to what is the relationship between account and contact what is the relationship between case and contact what is the relationship between account and opportunities relationship between account and product so relationship and data model type of questions can be asked in this make sure you thoroughly go through the types of relationship which object is associated with other major object in salesforce in what kind of relationship okay <clears throat> number 7 is reports and dashboard reports and dashboard are still very much relevant because see the reports and dashboards are very important for the top leadership they they need to see the data and that is why they becomes very important if your business need to see data in certain way you need to know how you can create that data you need to know what are bucket fields you need to know what are the joint reports you need to know what are how to add charts in a report you need to know how can you add multiple reports in a single dashboard so those kind of things you should know in order to be able to impress the leadership as well so reports and dashboard are still very important but if you are going for an admin interview do expect couple of questions from this because administrators main role also comes in from here that you will have to create dashboard for the top management senior management for the reporting purpose okay then we have approval process approval process is also very important because approval process are uh, can be can be used in sales cloud service cloud anywhere even if you are building a custom solution approval process can be used anywhere so approval process are very important and uh, questions could be practical like uh, different types of approval how many steps can be there in an approval process who can uh, reject who can recall for the approval can a community user be an approver can a community user be able to delete the uh, record submitted for approval those kind of practical questions will be there so make sure you know those questions as well okay then we have validation rule validation rules are extremely important and validation rules um our advanced tool you can say like whenever you will have to make sure that your users are putting the correct data in the system you want to make sure that they are not able to put the wrong data in the system you use validation rule there are so many functions available make sure you thoroughly practice at least 10 15 validation rules so that you will be able to explain them admin uh, in in admin interviews you will get more questions from the validation rules than in the developer but still you'll have to learn even if you are going for the developer interview and the last topic is public group queues and list views though relatively less important but still uh, if you're going for a ba or a qa or the admin related interviews you can get questions from public group queues and list views um difference between public group and queues uh how many users can be there in a public group can a public group can have another public group can a public group can be inside a uh, inside a queue uh, can we delete a queue can we delete the public group 
similarly on the list view how many maximum field we can display in the list view uh, how many maximum record we can display in the list view what are the different visibility settings available in the list view those kind of questions will be there so these are my topics of salesforce admin topics for 2025 make sure you add your topics as well in the comment section and uh, and this will help everybody who is watching your comment and uh, watching this video as well thank you guys i'll see you in the next video